Hello, everyone. So here we are having a question. We will definitely read it out and attempt it. But before doing anything else, I would like to insist all of you to read this line. Which line? Let me show you. This is written in the bottom. Repulsion is the surest, this one. Repulsion is the surest test for the presence of charges. You must remember this thing. What does it mean? It simply means if there are two bodies and it will going to have, they will going to repel each other. It simply means both the bodies must have charges. Now you must be wondering, what does it mean? Is it if the two bodies are attracting each other, is it not necessary that both the bodies must have charge? Yes, you are absolutely correct. If the two bodies are attracting each other, it may be because both the bodies have opposite charges or it may be because only one of them have the charges. Now you must be thinking how this is possible. This is not going to happen. This will going to happen and I would like to show you with some examples. Let's suppose this is the first body. This is the second body. Hmm? So this is the first body, this is the second body. Let's call it uh, first body and this is the second body. Now it is going to have positive charge. The second body is having new, it's completely neutral and definitely don't have any charge. Or should I say it has equal number of positive and the negative charges. Now when this positively charged body is kept very close to this neutral body, you know what will happen. This positively charged body induces charge into the second body, right? So all the negative charges will come on this side and all the positive charges will come on that side. Now you can see what will happen between the first body and second body. They will going to attract each other. Now you got my point. If the two bodies are attracting each other, it may have it may have happened that both the bodies must have the charges or it may also happen that the first body may have some charge but the second body is completely neutral. But if both the bodies are repelling each other, what does it mean? It simply means that both must have the charges. Okay? Both may have the positive positive charge or both may have the negative negative charge. Only the repulsion is possible. Repulsion can't be possible when one body is charged and another body is neutral. Okay, so I hope this point is quite clear to each one of you. Now let's dive into the question and let's understand what they are saying. So let me remove this figure. Okay, so now they are saying uh, a negatively charged object X is repelled by another charge object Y. Okay, so let me draw this, these objects so that it will be easy for you to understand what they are saying. Let's say this is the first object and this is the second object. Let me also draw the third object so because it will going to be used later on. This is X, let me write down. Yeah, this is X, this is Y and this is Z. Now they are saying a negatively charged object Z. It is already given in the question that X is negatively charged. So I am going to put it negatively charged. Let me write it here. This is negatively charged. Now it is being repelled by, try to understand what it is written, repelled by. Now read out this thing. If two bodies are repelling, it simply means both the have the, both must have the charges. It is being repelled. This is negatively charged and it is being repelled by Y. Then you could be sure that Y must have the negative charge, right? Now they are saying, However, an object Z is attracted to object Y. This Z object is being attracted to object Y. What does it mean? You know, the attraction always takes place when the two bodies are, both, both of them are charged or one of them are charged, right? So this is negative. This must be positive. Only then this could be charged. I mean, only then this could be attracted, right? So the next thing could also happen. This body must also possess zero charge. Let's say if this is going to have the zero charge, this is negatively charged. It will induce some charge plus on this side, minus on this side, and you know what will happen. The attraction will still take place if the Z body is completely neutral, right? So which of the option is correct? Can you guess? Let me also mark it. I hope you can't see it. Let me change the color. This is plus plus this is minus minus and this is called induction of charge it only happen when it this body is completely neutral so both the options are correct right so which option is correct uh, among a b c and d first option let's discuss each one of them a option is saying that the body z is positively charged only this is correct but only is the problem 
this could be positively charged y and z will going to attract each other b option negatively charged z can't be negatively charged because z is negatively charged then y and z will not going to be attracted they will going to repel it now d option new uh, sorry c i forget c c option neutral or positively charged yes these are the two options that we have already discussed that the neutral zero charge or the positively charged so option c is correct let's also discuss the d option neutral okay neutral is okay negatively charged no z can't be negatively charged because if it is negatively charged y and z can't attract each other so the correct option of this question let's see i hope you remember this thing i would like to insist one more time that you should remember this line that i have written here that repulsion is the surest test for the presence of charges i again repeat so that you should not forget if the two bodies are attracting each other it simply means that it is not necessary that both the bodies possess the charges either one of them or both of them possess the charges right but either one of them option should be there but if the two bodies are repelling each other you could be sure that both the bodies must be having some charges right okay thank you very much i hope you got the points